Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Today's technically the start of winter, right? That's so crazy to me that it's not until today because in my head it's been winter since like the day after Thanksgiving, really. Um, let's see. I'm at home right now. My mom is working from home today, so I was just in there chatting with her, but she does actually have to work, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll leave you alone. Let me go back down the hallway. Um, I have a pretty low-key day planned. I need to edit yesterday's vlog, work out, and then see what else I want to do. I just agreed to go watch my nephew tomorrow morning. My brother was like, he was running a slight fever, and so he's not going to be able to go to daycare. Can you come watch him? Which is fine, but it's at 7 a.m. <laughs> and they live like 45 minutes away. So you do the math on that one. So I'm going to be very tired. But that's what coffee's for. And, of course, he's worth it because that little boy is just the cutest thing. Um, and then my mom is trying to take tomorrow off. I think she's going to take a half day and then we're going to go shopping after. So like time with the baby and shopping are basically my two favorite things in this world. So I'll be good. Why? Oh, because the car. Um, one of the many things I love about being <laughs> home with mom. Hi. We just have like coffee going all day long. We do. That's like my favorite. Pumpkin pie spice. She's been dumping a little bit of pumpkin pie spice in her gingerbread coffee. But yeah, because I'm tacky and I use K-cups, but you are just like, do you want me to brew more? Do you want me to brew more? And it just goes all day long. And I'm like, yes. Constant flow of coffee. Are you showing us the gingerbread TJs? I think I might have closed that, so. Yeah, I feel like I'm, there's not very much left in here. Well, I didn't brew very much. I think it's the way you're. Here, show me. I just don't think I'm uneducated. I just don't think it's open enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just sampled a Bottega Veneta. I'm probably saying that wrong. It smells go divine. I'm gonna go look it up. Okay, go back to the office. Put your, when put when your do you want? I know. Away. When do you want to go to the grocery store? Probably 11:30. Oh, so not very much longer. Okay. Maybe, maybe an hour. Maybe 12. Okay, because I might try to go on a run. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. You guys, I went for a run through the neighborhood. And to my pleasant surprise, I did better than I thought I was going to do. I haven't been running much these days because it's like a lot colder in Portland and we don't really live in the best running area and I get lazy about like driving somewhere to go run. I just want to go out my door and run. And I realized that here in Phoenix, number one, the weather is better at this time of year. And number two, it's like all flat and it's so glorious and it made running through this neighborhood, which I love so much, so much better. Um, at our house in Portland, there's just like hills everywhere. There's no such thing as flat ground and it makes it very difficult. So I've mostly just been doing HIIT workouts back at home, but I wanted to take advantage and go on a run and I'm happy that I did. I think my mom and I, oh my God, <coughs> believe, it or, <coughs> believe it or not, yes, I'm gonna go out in public like this. Yes, I'm wearing this shirt again. I like to repeat outfits if you couldn't tell. I think we're gonna go to the grocery store and get some stuff to make all bondigas soup all i'm eating is mexican food basically but i'm cool with that because we sure have a lack of it in oregon so i don't think i'm gonna shower beforehand clearly i mean i'm not i'm just gonna run out the door like so and then take care of business when i get back so naturally we got a starbucks because the caffeine consumption can never end but look how cute this is I want it. What I do not want is this. My mom already, oh, I see her. I'm just getting her coffee. This is also cute, but it's not custom to Arizona. I want that Arizona merch. I gotta remember I'm working. Exact section. That's okay, you're on your lunch break. Yeah, your coffee. Oh, I'm like this guy's way. You take a 15 second lunch break. <laughs> well, treat yourself to a longer break today. Let's go find Mom, what are we looking pie. ingredients for? We're looking for, for four ingredients for. We're looking for ingredients for um, just to make some more beans. And the soup. Albonigas. Albonigas. Whitney Freeze, if you're watching this by chance, we have a really hilarious <laughs> inside joke about albonigas. Um, yeah, so I'm just drinking my festive drink number 900 of the season. This is my first. Well, good for you, Mom. You have a lot more self-control than I have. Well, this the other day I went month. to go get Starbucks and I couldn't. There is enough by me. This is yeah. 
I guess you guys don't have a super convenient Starbucks, but you do have a Dunkin' Donuts right down the street. And that coffee is the bomb. See, this is the Isle of Beans. Here you go. Yeah, you want me to grab those? Okay, the big ones. So we're home from the grocery store and I feel like a distraction to my poor mom who's like working from home and is like the sweetest, best person ever and like actually follows all the rules and all of that. She's like the best example ever. I've gotten a lot of her good qualities but I'm nowhere near as good as she is. <laughs> but yeah, so she's at home like trying to work through her work day and I'm kind of like antsy and like, you know, again, clearly haven't gotten ready or putting in any effort and I was like, you know what, there are a couple little boutiques that I've been wanting to go to that I would see on Instagram and I would like mark them as next time when I'm home, like I want to go check these places out. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. The first one's really close to my house and I think I maybe have been there back in the day. I don't know how long it's been there. Oh, Travis just texted me. Um, he just landed in Seattle. Uh... Travis said. Oh, hello, my friend. And honey, look, want to reply? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Anyway, um, what am I saying? Okay, yeah, the first one's that, and then the second boutique, it's one that looks even more exciting to me. It's called Urbana or Urbana, and they have like cute homeware stuff, and we know I'm obsessed with that. But that one's a little bit further, so maybe I'll go there first. Let's see. Let's roll. gosh so that store urbana is officially the cutest store i've literally ever seen like i want to go there every single time i'm home it's a little pricey but it's amazing i bought two things i bought they're wrapped up otherwise i would show you um one is this little like small batch of like a cocktail mix in like a lime tonic flavor and it's small and cute and the girl said it was amazing it's made here in arizona so i got that for travis's stocking i'm telling you that boy's stocking has just gotten better and better since i've been here um i didn't show you my candy yesterday it nothing too exciting just a bunch of like mexican candy which he loves then i got him these gummy beards like that's really funny i mean the man has a big beard gummy sour beards what else Oh, that like airplane model thing. Just like silly stuff. Oh, I got him like a spatula at Williams Sonoma that has like Italian noodles and an Italian flag on it because he's Italian. Like that boy's stocking is off the chain if you ask me. Um, yeah, that place was seriously, I'm going to use the term again, off the chain. The owners, I guess, the guy is from Portland, Oregon. So I was like, oh, that's where I live. And, you know, and then they served me champagne and it was a bottle of champagne from this winery in Oregon. I was just feeling it. Oh, and the second thing I got is a really, really cute handmade tea towel that says like, it's good to be home or something just cute and cheesy like that. God, I'm hot in this sweatshirt. It is 318. I have to pee really bad. <laughs> I don't know where to go next. I'm like, I don't, I want to go to another store that's just as cute as that, but does it exist? The limit doesn't exist. How does the line go for Mean Girls? <laughs> Something like that. But let's put it in Yelp. I'm gonna pee my pants. I need to turn the air on. On to the next. Yeah, number one, it was on the way home. Number two, I have to pee like I said. And number three, uh, I've been addicted to watching perfume videos and now I kinda have a list of ones I wanna smell. And Saks Fifth Avenue is right there and they have them. So let's go check them out while I am in this state. <laughs> Not looking appropriate for the Biltmore, but whatever. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm kind of trying to rush home because my mom needs her car. I don't know what this guy behind me is doing. Um, but I just have to say, I just left Saks Fifth Avenue and I literally feel like crying. There was the sweetest woman ever working at the bottom number nine counter which is specifically where I wanted to go inside of Saks. 
I smelled some of the other fragrances like Killian. I went to the Killian counter and had a nice chat with that lady as well. Killian's one of my favorite designers for perfume ever. But I had been hearing a lot of people talk about Bond fragrances on YouTube, so I had a bunch in mind that I wanted to smell. Long story short, this woman was a sweet, precious angel. She was European and she was just like so complimentary of me. It, I, I literally looked like garbage. Um, but she was just really sincere and I told her how I'm a teacher and she was saying how her mom was a teacher and like to this day, I guess her mom's about to be 83 years old and to this day she gets kids that come back to her and this and that and um, the mom lives in Europe and she told me how she lost her husband four months ago and I like wanted to cry and then she gave me literally, you guys, so many Bond number nine samples. Sorry for this weird glare lighting situation, but like so many Bond samples and I'm pretty sure she even gave me this. Like I feel almost guilty. I don't know why, cause I don't know, but she gave me, yep, she gave me this big atomizer, like a full blown, full size, like atomizer thing with the Bond print all over it. And I think this is in Scent of Peace for him, which is a men's fragrance, which she was like, here, that's for your boyfriend. So like, Travis, you're gonna wear that whether you like it or not, or I can give it to my best friend, David. But um, she was so sweet. And I like need to write her like a customer service thing, I feel like, cause I didn't buy anything. Cause like, I can't just waltz in there and drop Bond perfumes are expensive, okay? So I wasn't prepared to waltz in there and just buy one. Um, and she wasn't like pushy at all, at all. She gave me all those, I think knowing I wasn't about to buy something. But she was just like, here, let me give you these. She was a sweet peach and I just need to share it with the world. Um, I'm now on my way home. It's 4.42. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I still haven't finished Harry Potter, can you believe me? It's like the best book of all time and there are only two chapters left and I haven't finished it. But that's partially because I'm like kind of trying to savor it. Like yes, I'm dying to see what happens, but I'm also like, no, don't end. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm going home, I think I'm just in for the night. Uh, so I'll finish it tonight. You look literally disgusting. I don't even know if I brushed my hair, to be honest. My whole makeup application process because- Okay. I always feel that I super look super washed out when I'm done. Do you wear bronzer? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what I wear, and it's all Bobby. Oops. Bobby Brown. Cute little. Okay, let me. I'm into my cute little mirror. So let's see. Wait. Last time you saw me, I was on my way home. Hi. I'm now home. <laughs> ate Hi. dinner, showered. No, showered first, then ate dinner, and now we're going on an adventure to the Mexican market. Mexico is the wrong color, but. What is it, Mac? Uh, yeah, it was a Mac one. Can I see? But it was one that I found in my drawer at work and then I... Vivid imagination. Um, what are we getting at the Mexican market? We're gonna get um, salsa. We're gonna get Bill some Mexican cookies, dulces, maybe Katie. Pan dulce. Pan dulce. <laughs> I can't even say it right. And then maybe, we need, maybe we'll need another thing of tortillas because I don't know how fresh that one is. And then just for uh -huh. Katie to see the ambiance. <laughs> But it's cold outside. Because in Oregon, we don't have many Mexican markets. I'm sure there's a few. Should I get a jacket? Vamanos. Si. Como no. No, it's fine. I mean, I have wet hair, but as is my life. Let's go. Do you want like a red scarf or something? Oh, this red scarf? Well, I have another red scarf. I have a wool red scarf. Sure, why not? Okay, so there's full-blown Mexican so, music happening in here too. Oh, sweet bread, sweet bread. Right here. Oh. So they don't have so that place was amazing. Hola. <laughs> I just have to say, this is bad lighting in the car. There's nothing more lit than two grown men, Hispanic men, holding a case of Pacifico and getting out their different pan dulces for the night. Oh, they're there. Yep, they were holding Pacifico and like getting a tray with all the bread. I felt very out of place in there, mm -hmm. but it was the best place ever. We got tortillas, we got case, homemade, queso fresco, queso fresco homemade. salsa, pan dulce, sweetbreads. 
That's my new favorite store. I think so. I felt like I was in the movie Coco. Uh-huh. You need to go see it. With the with the Mexican music and the um <laughs> What about the little animals that were up at the top? Oh, those were freaky. I, I didn't film those, but they had these weird figurines for sale, like a bulldog and... A rooster. A rooster, like really hideous stuff. I wonder how much those cost. No. And lots of piñatas. Lots of piñatas. Okay, shall we? Lots of cheese. Okay, adios. <laughs> adios. Here are the current state of affairs. I'm in bed. <laughs> Chilling. I have several things I could do, and I can't decide what. Like watch a Christmas movie, edit, finish my book because I'm horrible and I still haven't. Um, I have this little chocolate from the Mexican Mart that I'm fixing to try. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of laying here. I actually need to go to bed early because I need to wake up at the crack of dawn to go babysit my nephew. But my sister-in-law was like, I'm going to get you Dunkin' coffee and donuts. And I was like, thanks, girl. So I'll let you know what I end up deciding on. Um... I might just start editing right now just to kind of get a leg up. I also have to um, edit the two videos I filmed the other day in addition to this vlog. So let's start that. Travis is home back in Portland now. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not, but he flew back home today. And he just texted me that there were all these um, envelopes in the mail. And he was like, can I open these? I think they're Christmas cards. So I FaceTimed him and made him open them on camera. I am currently editing my Skin Care Essentials video, but honestly, I'm kind of not in the mood for this right now. I don't feel very well. I have a sore throat. Like, I kind of feel like I'm getting sick. And my nephew did have a fever, I guess, today, and then he had to go to the doctor and stuff. So, like, I wonder if I did get something from him because he's gotten my mom sick before. I mean, you know, babies, germs, they get susceptible to that stuff. But either way, I hope he and I are both good and don't get sick here for Christmas. But yeah, so I'm just like not really in the zone to do this at the moment. And I don't even know if I'm in the zone for Harry Potter, which is kind of messed up because like there is no such thing as not being in the zone for Harry Potter. But part of it, as I mentioned earlier, is that I don't want it to end. And I want to be in like the best mindset to read it. And right now, honestly, I think I'm just going to throw in a Christmas movie and like flip through my phone and like eat this chocolate that I still haven't eaten from the Mexican market called Carlos V. <laughs> The fifth, Carlos the fifth. It's like a king on the front. So the two movies I brought home are Home Alone 2 and Elf because they are two of my favorites that I haven't really watched this season. I did watch uh, Home Alone 2 with Allison the other day, but it was just on in the background and we were like barely paying attention. So I still wanted to watch it again. I might start with Elf though, cause that's like a classic and I haven't watched it at all. My throat is really hurting. That is troublesome. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and put on this movie and chill and I'll probably end the vlog soon. Oh shoot, I keep thinking that my computer is still on Portland time, but I'm in Arizona, so I'm on, Ar I'm on Arizona time. So it is actually 9.19 right now, which is obviously not late in the grand scheme of life at all for your night owl friend Katie here too, but I have to get up very early. So that's why I have to be mindful of the clock. My computer says 8.19. It's 9.19. Okay, my throat really hurts. I'm going to put on a movie and I'll see you in a little bit. Probably just to end the vlog. Well, I'm sure you can hear it in the background. Uh, but I am into Elf. I'm only like maybe 15 minutes in. But God, this movie is so good. It is such a classic. I actually remember... <laughs> oh... Travis got um something in the mail about a missing cat and he just texted me I'm really sad about that cat I really want to find it I know I am too it was a 15 year old cat and it was like a house cat and it was like a missing ad and it's Christmas time it's just sad but yeah I remember seeing this movie in theaters and like immediately being like this is the greatest movie of all time and it truly has stood the test of time um, my throat really doesn't feel any better so I definitely feel like I'm getting sick so that's not good and I don't want to like bring this to my nephew but I also have a feeling he gave it to me I don't know we'll see hopefully I'll feel okay in the morning but I'm gonna sign off because I have to get up bright and early so I will see you then for vlogmas day 22 it'll be an exciting one I hope I don't know I'm just saying that but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow love you bye <laughs>